Good morning, everybody. Take like 17. <laughs> and we are going places with K and J. <laughs> so uh, we are doing something this morning uh, that I never thought we'd be doing again. We are actually doing a video from our little tiny frontier. And what this video is, is first off, it is kind of an update. And then secondly, we are going to do a food, re food review, but we're not going to tell you where we're going. It's not a huge surprise, but it is a food that has been a big part of my life uh, since I was very young. Anyway, so... Um, we haven't posted much. Matter of fact, we haven't posted anything really about travel uh, since our Vegas trip. And the reason being is we had a very cool event in our life. And what was that a cool event, Jennifer? Our daughter got our married. Our daughter got married. Our and we did post that. And we did post that actually. So I'm hoping you were able to look at that. But anyway, our daughter got married. And after Vegas, it was about, what, 18 days or so before the wedding. So yeah. just, just under three weeks. And... Um, so we decided to lay low. We decided not to spend money, not to, you know, uh, go out <laughs> because we didn't want to take a chance of a disaster again like we had when we were traveling um, to Vegas and San Diego our first time. So we didn't want to take that uh, chance. So we decided to stay home, and which we did. But now the wedding is over. It's been a couple of weeks. We've uh, kind of gotten over that. And in this coming week, in the next four days, it's almost Memorial Day weekend. It's so, yeah, this year has gone by very quickly. And uh, we're gonna go on a trip. We're not gonna tell you where, but uh, in a, just a couple of days, we're gonna start posting videos uh, about our trip. And, I also, and actually, I'm going to finally do something I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And again, that will be an announcement this weekend as well. So, um, Jenny, what other than the wedding have we gone through as a recap of uh, this summer? Of this summer? Of this summer. Start at the end of June, if you know what I mean. Well, the accident. The accident, right. Kind of started and ended our <laughs> Started and summer. ended and everything. <laughs> uh, elaborate f a little bit more about that, just, just uh, so uh, people who might not know what happened we'll know what happened there was an accident but what well, yeah what but, was that accident about well we were planning on really starting our trips with our travel trailer right we purchased a travel trailer in the late spring and it was destroyed in an accident on june 27th yes we were heading to vegas and san diego and got sideswiped by another car and um it ended our trip the truck that we're in we thought was totaled it was not so now we have two trucks. So now we have two trucks. We have a towing truck and we have the around town truck. And how's the uh, thing with the trailer going as far as, you know, getting the insurance settled and all that stuff? How has that been going? Well, frustrating, slow. Um, our insurance did cover probably all of it, all except for about $10,000 of the trailer. Um, so that's been paid. Now we're just waiting for, you know, our service contracts to be refunded and then gap to pay the rest of it so that's where we're at there with the trailer we did get this fixed yes. picked it up um I, we're still ish, having some issues with it we've been going back and forth with the insurance right i, I just want to get a second opinion the steering seems a little squirrely to me uh i don't know i just want to have it looked at just to be sure i mean uh, the majority of the truck fixes look very good. I'm just a little concerned about the steering, and that's about it. So uh, we'll we'll take it to the dealer as advised, and we'll uh, we'll let you know what happens with that. Maybe I don't know. That's kind of a boring thing, but anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you know, it's just the process we're going through. Too, right, right. So. so the accident was on June 27th. Today is August, August 31st. August 31st. So it's been two months. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's been over just a slightly over two months, and we are still not settled like on 30th. our accident. Right. And now, on a personal note, um, what the accident did to me personally was it kind of messed me up. Um, I had a pre existing back condition uh, from basically wearing out my spine, doing very hard labor for several years. But uh, I am technically 14% disabled because uh, of my spine, but over about a seven or eight year span, I learned to deal with that. I learned to work around it, work within the limitations. I have restrictions that I cannot, can and cannot do, and really did stick with those. But what the, um, what the accident did to me personally was it kind of shook me up. So 
whatever progress I had made over the last eight years or so since my original injury was honestly gone. Uh, it, it's just not there anymore. And matter of fact, I feel like whatever happened, and it wasn't great, you know, it was, it was a violent accident, but we didn't go to the hospital or anything. The truck almost rolled, but did not. Uh, but whatever it did could to me, it, it could have, it was a vi it could have been much worse. And we, and Jenny and I both know that, but, um, it, it really has kind of messed me up. I really haven't been able to sleep well at night. My hips are hurting and that never happened before. Um, so just, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. I've been going to a chiropractor when I went, originally I uh, got my, my back injury. I went to traditional doctors and they really didn't do anything. I mean, there was some injections and some physical therapy, but it really didn't solve any problems. And there was basically, it's like, hey, yeah, you, you've got some injuries, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's not bad enough to operate on, but it's bad enough that you're going to have chronic pain. And I, and I learned to deal with it. And now the chronic pain is back. It is worse. And again, I have to relearn to deal with my back issues. So that's where I'm at. Um, I haven't honestly wanted to get out and do much recently. Um, I, I don't know if I'm just a little depressed or just a little fed up with the pain all the time. But um, like I said, this this coming week we're gonna yeah, I'm gonna get in the truck, our new truck, and we are going to drive somewhere. I'm not telling you where, but and that's how we're gonna we're gonna start this thing again. And we also have a trip tentatively planned for October. We don't have dates yet, but we have a location. And it has something to do with uh, a TV show Jenny uh, started to binge watch while we're, um, we're quarantining for COVID. Not my favorite TV show, and I'll explain that why. So about that later. So, well, for now, I think until we get to our breakfast spot, I'm going to stop recording. And uh, did I miss anything about what we've done over the last few weeks? Uh, I don't think, I don't think so. so. All right, well... I don't even remember, honestly, I, the last time I used this camera, it was for our daughter's wedding. We, I did the video and a few of the photos. And so video turned out pretty good other than me cropping off her head when I thought she was gonna stand one place when they put the flowers on the arch and she stood in another and I didn't guess right. So I guess I should have uh, <laughs> told her a little bit, stand there or you're gonna lose your head. But anyway, I so. I see her face. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see her face. And uh, I tried to record it in 4K actually did record it in 4k but managed not to be able to save it on youtube in 4k so had a few issues there too but i think overall it turned out very well uh, i want to thank kyle kyle smith our dear dear friend for helping with some of the video uh he did actually the back of the room shot i did the front of the room shot while i really, i just turned on the the gopro at that point so but uh for now, we're just going to keep driving. It's a few minutes before we get to our destination. And when we get there, I'm hoping Miss Jenny will go in and get some food so I don't have to pour myself out of our little truck. So give us just a minute and we'll be right back. Bye. All right. Jenny is back on her way to the truck. And I may have to jump out real quick to help her get in the truck because she's carrying a couple of drinks and a box of something. But I want to explain why. This particular food is my at least favorite breakfast food, if not one of my favorite foods in general, and it is donuts. When I was young, um, growing up in Layton, Utah, one of my jobs was to go to the store and buy either milk, bread, oh, here she is, here she is, or toilet paper. And one of my rewards for my efforts. You didn't park very well. I did not park very well. <laughs> I have lost the ability to park with my old age. But anyway, as I was saying, um, by the way, we're recording. Just I'm telling them, I'm telling everybody why donuts are my favorite breakfast food. It's not my favorite food. But anyway, as a you reward also for- You almost didn't grad, well, you graduated late, did you? That has nothing to do with for donuts. <laughs> ditch Jim for donuts. <sighs> Jenny just brought up an unfortunate part of my past that I wasn't going to bring up. I was going to bring up a childhood memory. Oh, but well, thank, thank you. Yes, proceed. Thank you so much. But anyway, uh, as a reward for me walking up to get either milk, bread, or toilet paper, my mother, if this was in the evening at least, my mom would say, okay, take the change and, and buy yourself a donut or two. And the good thing about where I would go to get milk, bread, or toilet paper was... Um, 
in the evenings they put their donuts on half price special every day so at the time donuts were probably 20 or 25 cents so this is going back to the 80s and uh, so I would I would buy you know donuts for like 12 cents and um, that's kind of when I got hooked on donuts now my current favorite donut of all the donuts out there is Lamar's and when it comes to donuts I'm actually a bit of a snob because I understand inside the Lamar's right behind us there are probably dozens of varieties of donuts but as far as I'm concerned there's only one type of donut on the planet and that is the glazed donut so fluffy it is so fluffy it is so <laughs> big look at the size of that thing and I will consume my body weight in donuts so um, that is um, what we came here today now I don't know what is it, it is about Lamar Donuts, I don't think but I didn't get napkins. Great. Do we have any in the truck? Mm, Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. But like I said, they are they are big, they are fluffy. There's a lot of glaze on them, so <coughs> excuse me. They are absolutely wonderful. And um, normally when we're traveling, we stop by Lamar's if we're going to go. Good grief. <coughs> Go to see my family in Utah. Um, we stop by Lamar's and get a dozen, and I pretty much will. Everybody will have one or two, and I will basically eat the rest. Um, <laughs> the story Jenny was mentioning about me um, <laughs> ditching a lot of high school was me and my best friend in high school, Matt, who now lives in Phoenix and has six children and like two grandchildren. And we have two children and no grandchildren as of yet. And probably it's going to be quite a while. But every morning I skipped a gym class and uh, went down to uh, the grocery store and we would buy donuts. And all that, although that was not the only factor involved, it was one of the main, one of the factors involved in me uh, having to go to high school for an extra year. Uh, there were other things involved that I was dealing with. I, would, I was what you would probably call a troubled teen. So uh, I had a lot of um, issues, but I'm all better now, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. All right. So, uh, <laughs> as usual, we will not bore you with us eating, although Jenny's most of the way through so her good. first one. Well, yes, they are good. So, for now, we are going to enjoy our Lamar's donuts. And we will talk to you in a few days mm, when we get to go. Hot. Oh, your coffee's hot. Oh, it's oh. pretty, my leg. Well, then put it up on the dash. It'll fall. It'll fall? Okay, never mind. All right. So, we'll talk to you in a couple of days when we get ready to go on our next, ba uh, next trip. Okay. Bye. Bye.